Happy New Year. This is the first day of the new year, 2012. Let's welcome this new year with lots of hopes and lots of expectations. And we had a wonderful uh, beginning. Now let's see how uh, we uh, spend the rest of the year. The year 2011, the year we just uh, completed, has been a difficult year for all of us. Uh, people who are in Bangladesh, uh, uh, with Grameen Bank, uh, with all the Grameen companies, uh, we had to suffer through a lot. And also uh, people uh, who are outside, the friends of Grameen, uh, suffered a lot. And I'm very happy that uh, we have gone through all this uh, with keeping the spirit of Grameen uh, intact. Uh, and I'm very happy for the support we received uh, during this traumatic period uh, within the country, outside the country, all the friends all over the world. And that kept us uh, strong, that kept us moving forward. Now we just entered 2012 and the beginning uh, of new hope, uh, beginning of uh, new uh, start uh, and see how this year uh, brings to us. Uh, we would be uh, looking forward uh, to a year which will be uh, of which will be of peace and which will be a, a year of accomplishments, uh, a year of uh, lots of uh, memories, lots of uh, uh, achievements that uh, we all together uh, brought uh, into this uh, new year that uh, we are entering into. Uh, first of all, uh, 2011, had, not only we had problems uh, with Grameen, we also had problems beyond Grameen. Uh, we had the problem of um, uh, microcredit. Uh, press have been very critical of microcredit in 2011. Lots of stories came, lots of accusations came. Uh, it became a global phenomenon, uh, as if uh, uh, microcredit uh, is about to disappear, uh, which luckily was not the case. Uh, but we could turn around, we could explain to people what was the problem. It was a localized problem in India. Uh, it is not the problem in general of microcredit. And now things have been sub things have subsided. Uh, we are moving ahead with microcredit stronger than ever. We had the problem in Europe, a problem of financial crisis, problem of uh, debt crisis, problem of uh, euro, uh, and unemployment, massive unemployment in some of the European countries. Uh, so it's, uh, uh, it's raised lots of issues about uh, the economy, the structure of the economy, the ideas uh, which, which, which we hold very dearly that uh, uh, this is what the uh, economic system can bring to us, solve all the problems. We found out that it didn't solve problems. It created many, many problems and uh, which remain unresolved. And now in 2012, we have to see uh, where we go from here. 2011 has not been a good year so far as the economy is concerned, so far the uh, people's lives are concerned, even in advanced countries in Europe. Uh, also problems in, uh, in North America. Unemployment has been a very uh, high uh, on the uh, people's consciousness uh, and also other economic issues in, your, in North America. So we have to now put it uh, in the perspective uh, is it a kind of end of uh, uh, a human civilization that we built over years based on certain conceptual framework which will solve all our problems? Uh, and now we see not only it doesn't solve problems, uh, it, it itself doesn't function. Uh, it comes into a crisis which is unmanageable. Um, the present system has brought us the problems of uh, uh, climate change, problem of global warming, problems of poverty, problems of poor health, uh, all those massive problems that we have been talking about and we don't see an end to it. And now uh, the fundamental issues came whether the very structure can remain in place uh, by uh, making it function as efficiently as we had hoped for. So the 2012 has to uh, address all these issues uh, in a way that we uh, not only come to an end of human civilization, uh, we also at the same time build a new human civilization. And what will be the building 
blocks of this new human civilization. That's the issue that we have to uh, put in place and find answers to. And one of the building blocks that we offer from our side, which we have been doing for several years now, is the idea of expanding the conceptual framework of uh, capitalist uh, structure. Uh, we have to put in the uh, building block of social business, another kind of business. Uh, the obsession with money uh, cannot just continue. Uh, we have to become conscious of the society, conscious of other people in our individual lives, which is missing in the present system. So that's what we have to bring in very consciously in 2012, the building block of social business. And we have to make it recognizable, make it uh, attractive, make it uh, uh, functioning uh, all over uh, the world, not just uh, in one country or two countries. Uh, we should be looking at at least 50 countries uh, during this year where social businesses are taking roots. At least one or two or three such social businesses are functioning. Is, uh, we have to move on uh, from the achievements of 2011 on social business to a 2012 level where uh, it will be visible. It will be uh, something which gives hopes to people. Yes, we can do it. It will excite the young generation uh, of the world that yes, we don't have to inherit a kind of crumbling structure. We can build a new structure and we, it is within our means, within our capacity to do that. That's what we want to do. So 2012 will be the year for the young people it will be the year of creativity. It will be the year of social business. And that's what we have to put together. And we have lots of actions uh, lined up for 2012 uh, so far as social business is concerned. And we need you to get involved in social business. Each one of us uh, can create social business uh, by creating ideas, by bringing uh, new designs for social businesses. Once we can put the design in place, uh, we can go into the actions. Uh, today, some structures are already uh, emerging, and 2012 would give them uh, a reasonable uh, concrete shape so that it can be functioning. Uh, some of the events that we have uh, designed in the past will continue uh, in 2012 in a much stronger way, in a much more effective way. Uh, first of all, uh, in the beginning of the year, we'll have the uh, National University of Singapore uh, organize, organizing social business forum uh, for the region uh, in Singapore. Uh, so we'll bring people together um, to discuss right from the beginning of the year uh, to see where we stand and what needs to be done in this particular region. All of you are invited to come and join us in Singapore. Uh, at the end of February. So this is what one, the first one that we see on the agenda. The next one we see is in uh, Japan in July, uh, the Social Business Forum Asia, uh, which is organized by Kyushu University. Uh, and this, this time it is going to be uh, a very important forum, bringing uh, participants, uh, the business leaders and, and uh, young uh, population from the region and the, business, uh, the policy makers, polit political leaders to get together, the academics get together to see where we take social business in Asia, uh, what we have been doing, what needs to be done, uh, how many more uh, new uh, initiatives are taking shapes in different countries. So this would be another one that we were looking forward to see. Uh, and then, the, of course, the uh, social business uh, summit, global social business summit. Uh, the fourth one, uh, fourth summit will be taking place in Vienna in the first week of November. So we look forward to seeing you there with lots of ideas, concrete ideas. It's not just to come here to listen. We also bring ideas. Uh, we will have more display in the idea room uh, to see what we can do for uh, employment generation, for uh, addressing the cl uh, global warming issues, climate issues, environmental issues, uh, many things that we want to do. So all these things will take shapes and uh, take positions. And there are many initiatives coming up for many countries. And we'll hope to, we'll hope to see these become concrete. Uh, we are looking forward to social business tours. Uh, first of all, social, social business tour of Africa 
on uh, Millennium Development Goals, and we would like to organize it in other countries, in North uh, Africa or Middle East, uh, 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 and uh, other regions, uh, to organize a social business tour, so that we can uh, have complete uh, action plans in the various countries, wherever we want to go, and bring the young people, connect them with the business community, CEOs, so that the, a contact between the CEOs with the young population can start a whole series of social business all around us. Uh, so that's what we are looking forward. Uh, and we want to make 2012 uh, a memorable year for social business, really uh, giving it a big push uh, of social business uh, in terms of thinking, in terms of actions, in terms of uh, bringing new partners, uh, in terms of exploring possibilities, all those. So we don't want to get caught up in the, uh, the, uh, the sad news and uh, all the uh, difficulties of economy, uh, all the depressing thoughts about unemployment. Uh, we want to um, bring out the entrepreneurial ability of people rather than just waiting for getting a job. Uh, we have to see that whether we want to be job seekers or we want to be job givers. Definitely, social business opens up a possibility that we can be job givers. Uh, but social business, one, two things we would like to focus on during 2012 uh, from the uh, social business side, uh, while we emphasize the participation of young people in a massive way, in large numbers, in an active way, uh, we have to guide it to a certain uh, areas where not, not only we want to uh, uh, limit ourselves into a uh, few sectors, but uh, at the same time we have to have some uh, priority areas. Uh, priority areas would be uh, job creation and entrepreneurial uh, activities, startups. Uh, so this will be one uh, big uh, chunk of our attention, job creation, because unemployment has created such, an, such a situation all over. So this would be a good time to bring social business idea to build uh, um, uh, businesses, social businesses for creating uh, employment and uh, creating uh, empl uh, entrepreneurial activities uh, all around us so that we see unemployment is not a problem. Uh, we can overcome that, uh, uh, that thing as it happened in the past. So we would like to make in the new civilization, this is the building block of the new civilization, in the new civilization they would like to build, unemployment should be a word unfamiliar to those people who will be belonging to the new civilization. It will be a word from the past. Uh, the new civilization will banish the word unemployment. Uh, it will be a very natural thing for people to keep themselves busy, keep themselves utilized. No reason why uh, an active, uh, creative human being should remain unemployed or unutilized or uh, be, not being able to express his or her own ability and creativity in real life. So this is one of the areas that we will be focusing on. Another area that we will be focusing on is achieving Millennium Development Goals uh, by 2015. So we'll be focusing on achieving those uh, eight Millennium Development Goals. We can pick one of them, we can pick part of uh, one of the goals and see concrete examples of creation of that. And we'll be bringing technology uh, we'll be creating new technology, we'll be using uh, our creative power to address those problems. This is the beginning of a concrete action uh, so that gradually we build up a massive infrastructure on the basis of that. So this is the challenge of 2012 and we have to work together, keep in touch and make it a wonderful year. A fantastic year for all of us. Not just us, meaning that few people who are listening to uh, this conversation, uh, but for the whole world. We cannot just go on the way it is. We have the power. We have the power to change the world, and we must do it. We must change the world. This is our task, and we want to accomplish it, and we want to make 2012 as the year where it will all begin. And the building block that we're looking for will present it to the world. This is the building block uh, which will create the new civilization. So we wish you a very happy new year, a very successful new year. Thank you very much.